This is the Triple Out Design Fast Pack EDC. There's only a few spots on that wall of bags that I've been missing out on, and this is definitely one of them. So I was super stoked when the EDC got added to Triple Out Design's Armory Builder. So I built a few. Take a look at those. We're gonna compare it to the standard edition, which I also happened to acquire recently. We're gonna take a look at all of those and compare it to some of my uh, other favorites, namely the Triple Out Design Light Speed and some Goruck bags, of course, in waxed canvas, which is exactly what this bag is made out of here. This is the waxed canvas edition, which looks awesome. More about that, let's get to it. So this is it. This is the Triple Out Design Fast Pack EDC, a bag that I really wanted for a long time. And finally they came out with their armory situation where I could have it built to my specs on things that I wanted. So we're gonna go to that eventually. But I haven't done an EDC video in the past and so I actually have a standard edition EDC. So right now, first off, we're gonna talk about what's the difference between a light speed and an EDC. It's not as dramatic as you think. It's mostly features, not all size. And after we do that, then we're going to compare, we're going to get out uh, really what's new about this armory build of the EDC so we can see how awesome this wax canvas is. And then part three is going to be how this EDC compares to some of my other favorites, namely some of the GORAK bags. But let's start off with just going with the basics. How does the EDC compare to the light speed? You know, we've done a video of this before. This is the standard edition. Triple Out Design light speed, it's at 1000D. And then, I, you know, I ordered the armories, I never had seen just the regular EDC, and then, of course, lo and behold, some of them came out. So this is the standard edition of the EDC, so we're gonna compare these things side to side to see what's the main difference. Now, they're, again, both in 1000D Cordura for both of these, but this one's in multi-cam black, and I've had this one for a while, used it. This one also has the transporter tail, but it's in on the inside, which I can show you later. And this one's got it on the outside, just to show you how they both fit. Either way, you can take this thing off, put it on the inside. Uh, it takes a little bit to route the straps, but it can be done. Anyway, this is uh, how they compare. Now, you know, side by side, you know, originally I thought, you know what? It's all gonna be about the size of these two bags. Uh, and this one's gonna be obviously a lot bigger. This is currently the largest bag that Triple Out Design makes. But side by side, they, I really don't feel a ton difference in size. Now I'll put up the specs here so you can see how they compare just down to the nitty gritty. You can just see basically an inch here and there that translates to 22 liters. It translates over to uh, 28 liters. So six liter difference between these two bags, but I'll be honest, it really doesn't feel that different in terms of volume um, and the overall dimensions really don't feel that different so really what it comes down to for me is the feature differences that they put in the EDC I think far, are far superior so if you had to get one I would go EDC unless you just really wanted a simple bag and now that I've had both I kind of get it the light speed is light speed it's basically a slim down version of this bag it's a little bit smaller but it lacks some of the other features so it's going to be lighter leaner um, and just more agile this one just has more features a little bit bigger but it just does a lot now both of these have the same you know full standard edition they've got the webbing that wraps through the top which is pretty cool um, they both have that they both have back panels that are the same basically a little different but the same styling as you get out the other ones you'll see the new back panels the straps are beefier actually they're about the same a little bit wider here on the edc compared to the light speed Otherwise, the back panel is really no different. Uh, side webbing on these is really what you get out of the standard editions now. You get a far superior just webbing, 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 webbing. One and two inch gaps everywhere, so you really totally customizable. Make it whatever you want. Attach anything that, that uses Molly webbing to put on there and you know other pouches, etc. from GORUCK or their own Triple Out Design ones. Either way, you can just go nuts. Um, now, that does increase dramatically the tactical index. This bag is not gonna fit in the work environment very well just because it just looks like you're going to war, climbing a hill, doing something else, something very extreme versus just carrying your laptop to work. Now, the other big thing that we gain in the EDC that we don't have on the light speed are these side pockets, which are awesome. They are inverted 
And so they're on the bottom, they go up to about here. And so what's awesome about this is not only is this pocket obviously accessible from the bottom, but it's got a D-ring on the inside. So it goes up to about here and there's a D-ring. See me tug on it. So what do you put in there? Maps, maybe your Garmin inReach, another GPS, you can put your phone in there. Anything you want quick access on the go, you don't need to carry a Goodworks boogie bag or some other a little fanny pack kind of thing. You can put everything in here and it zippers shut and it's towards you, the zipper, so you zip back, get whatever you wanted. When I filmed this intro, I used my Insta360 X3 and when I wasn't using it, whoop, went in the back panel just very nice and easily and it popped it out and it worked out well. So both sides, you get them on both sides. And so that's awesome. What you get and what you have in the standard, obviously you gain the webbing, but you don't get a second pocket that these sterile armory editions got. That you still get this top pocket, just like you did in the light speed with some organization, little admin sections in there to put and keep your stuff organized in this top access pocket. No other pockets. There's no laptop sleeves. There's none of that stuff. This thing is purpose built for work. Uh, and it's just more utilitarian. The straps are comfortable. I can attest to that. Just put a few miles on my other one with the same general configuration. Now, both of these have the same sort of layout with a Velcro, um, the loop or the hook on the inside for you to use a hip belt. So they actually made, this one's in Coyote, so it doesn't exactly work here, but you can get the idea. It's got loop on the inside, so you can wrap this sucker on the, uh, in there. Uh, and if you needed a, a wide hip belt, and it's got loop on it, so I'm waiting for the black edition to come and get restocked, and then I'll get one of those. But this is super cool because now, you know, this is removable. Uh, if you really needed it, great, have it. If you don't, take it off and go to town. Um, other than that, the attachment setups um, are just near identical on both these bags. Again, you have uh, bladder port access so you can hang hydration on the inside and get it on the outside. So really, outside wise, no big difference aside from the inch here or there and then those inverted pockets. On the inside, now we'll dive into that a little bit just to give you an inside look. There's one additional feature on the inside of this bag that makes it stand out. The back panel, again, is no different in here. Um, I've got some other stuff in there, some other stuff later. But what's really cool about this interior front, front pockets is there's a hidden pocket. So you undo this zip and then there is Velcro to show you an inside pocket that goes in here. So what do you put in here? Passport, documents, cash, something else in here that you're, you know, you don't want someone to find if they were to go and rifle through your bag. So it's pretty nice, it goes all the way across. I love that hidden feature. But on the inside, you know, I've got one of these Gray Man Tactical uh, plates, um, which is nice. If you want to give it a little more rigidity, there is um, a frame sheet in there, but this allows you to totally customize the inside of any of these with whatever you wanted. If you had some of the, <laughs> the webbing on um, the regular field pockets, you could totally mount these in here. You can really go to town with this thing and uh, link in the description for the exact size that fits the light speed and this EDC. The other thing that's cool about this and is the, you know, of course, bladder attachment points. This is where you can put that tail. You can take it off and put it on the inside. And then, um, but there are these side interior pockets webbing on those as well. So you could add some of the other uh, attachments on the inside. And these fit perfect for an interior water bottle. So you can keep that sucker uh, totally in interior and secured because there's no exterior water bottles, at least. Um, that come with it. So you can totally put one of these standard Yetis on each side and that's gonna work out perfectly. The bigger Nalgene's will probably barely, just barely fit. So it's gonna be tight, but it can fit the Nalgene bottle uh, on the inside as well. So that's pretty cool. So that's basically the differences. And again, the in the interior, the light speed, you don't get these side pockets and you don't get this, uh, hidden pockets. So those are the interior pockets. So those are the big differences. The two interior and then the exterior pockets are really the big differences besides just the volume between an EDC and a light speed. Next up, we're going to clean all this stuff up and then we're going to talk about what's new about the new EDCs compared to this 1000D Cordova version. All right, so what do we have here? Back to the original frame, but this is the waxed canvas waxed canvas version of the EDC 
armory build. I also have a 500D version um, in OD green. So I really saw in all their intro videos, they had this OD green, I'm like, I gotta get it. So we'll talk more about the, what's different between this one, 500D and this one. But then also on the table, I brought out the 1000D so we can just see some general differences. Now, what's different between this one and the regular standard 1000D. First of all, the transporter tail you can get with webbing. I just went slick on the outside because I like the look and the sew pattern they put in that, but you can also get it without that. So that's cool. Um, but then as you see in this front interior of this standard edition, it's got webbing top to bottom. So, and again, one inch and two inch gap, so you can really customize this just like the light speed. You can put whatever you want on the outside. Super, super cool. On the front of the on the front of the armory build, uh, you can see that it is completely slick. Boom! Completely slick on this one. Now I added the loop panel. You, you know, again, in the customization options for the armory were pretty cool. You could add a bunch of different things. Um, I had the same critique about the the re most recent armory edition compared to the light speed is you couldn't. You know, you only got one option of webbing so i added the black webbing single two inch you know you could either do this or there or two one inch so you couldn't do both so if you wanted to go full up webbing like the original you couldn't do that you just had to do one or the other i mean i think they just had both man people they might want it but anyway the other addition that's super cool about this besides being a waxed canvas which is awesome is this additional pocket so this additional pocket all the way to the bottom very super cool big enough for a regular sized ipad is awesome and so that's what you gain with this one you still get the interior hidden pocket you still have the inverted side pockets with the d-ring on the inside so you can put something on a lanyard like a compass or something else, maybe your garment on a leash, that kind of thing. But it's got everything you need to um, on the inside. So really, those are the additions. This pocket and the fact that you can customize everything is really the advantage to this. Uh, really in waxed canvas, I just think this thing stands out, so it's super cool. Um, on the back panel, one thing to bring up, it is one little addition, and that is this new back panel, which was the same design as what the new Armory light speeds are. So just to show you the difference, more rounded edges. This one has, I would say, a little beefier uh, padding, um, but it's got this, you know, sort of triple lot design branded interior section, which is cool. A little air channel, it does breathe. This panel is very comfortable. What do I have in here? A 26 pound sand kettlebell from Go Ruck, and I've got this thing uh, loaded. So, this thing, you know, as I was rucking, just a nice little middle of your back pad, which just felt very nice. And again, just like the light speed, the fact that we get load lifters very comfortable harness system with the included sternum strap very you know the ability to dial this thing in to make it comfortable just can't be um overstated that's what's different about these two or at least what's different between the 1000d and the armory i also have added on mine i've got this uh, one tigress water bottle holder which i do really like i took this off my light speed it's pretty nice you can put uh, some more patches on there but it just kind of compresses in when i have the transporter on and if i had to i could wrap this through underneath and put a water bottle it completely collapses yeah it increases the tactical index of this thing but if i want to carry a water bottle boom now i have that ability to do that this is od green and it's in 500d so it's lighter in fact how much lighter well to me the the weight difference is you know not really a significant aspect when you're talking about backpacks which are going to totally load up but if it's important to you just so you know this one's about four pounds just over four pounds the regular 1000d was about four and a half pounds and then the wax canvas at the heaviest is just over five pounds so roughly a half pound difference from 500d to 1000d to wax canvas i don't have the x-pack version although i might want to go back and get one um, just because the features of these edcs i think it's just a lot better than the light speeds but anyway so this is no different um i i tricked this thing out almost identical to this with the exception of i just left it 
full green on the front. I didn't want to put a patch on there. I've got a magnet patch if I want to put a patch on there. But I just really thought this thing just looks really cool with the little green accents here and there. Um, yeah, so it's really awesome. Same features, same under pockets. Both of these editions, I think the X-Pac ones have AquaGuard. These, both of mine just have the standard uh, YKKs, um, which are USA made. If that's important to you, these are all USA YKKs, which, you know, most of my GORUCK stuff, I only have it on one of my bags, but on all of these Triple Lot design bags, USA YKK. So if that's important to you, nothing but the best for them, the bags built in North Carolina. All right, so this is my waxed canvas. This is the one, this could be the duty rig for a while. Definitely excited about this one because A, waxed canvas, and B, blacked out, so really cool. <laughs> Uh, so these patches from PS Patch Designs, the uh, Heat Miser and Cold Miser. Um, now I have this song going through my head. Um, if you're not familiar with it, um, it might be going through your head now too, and hopefully will not ruin your weekend. But anyway, wax canvas, super cool. I love the ability to customize things. In fact, uh, the uh, Insta360, you know, selfie stick, boom, fits in here. So you kind of got a way to carry that thing on the side. Or, and like I said, when I was rucking around, whoop, fit that sucker in there, zip it shut over top of it. And again, put whatever you want in there. And if you needed it, land it in, use some 550 cord and just go to town with that. Um, whether this thing stays in the front or not, I don't know, probably will, just because it sort of protects the access, that front pocket, totally love it. And like I said, I've got this one Tigress water bottle holder on this side, which is going to allow me to carry hydration if I want it. If I don't, then boom, it's nice and uh, compacted down. On the inside, which, you know, I do love the inside features of all these, the wax canvas throughout. And another little tip, pro tip, is that if you go to Triple Out Design, you can go into the foundry section and order all of their little attachment section or their little accessories. Um, and you can customize them in whatever fabric from 500D, the X packs and wax canvas. So cool. Again, love the hidden pocket. It all exists in this thing. Cool. Now inside customization wise, the biggest negative about both the light speeds and the EDCs, there's no internal built in laptop solution. So if that's a big deal, don't go with this bag, but there are several ways to carry laptops, a Nedulo, uh, felt sleeve, which is uh, what I really like a lot of times, but this um, mounts on the inside as well in the back. So if you wanted to go this route, you could totally use some of the Triple R Design sleeves. This is uh, the large, I think. No, this is the medium. Medium. The medium fits the regular size. I actually it fits the 13-inch MacBook Pro and the bigger 12.9-inch uh, iPad. So the large fits that one. Otherwise, a couple of packing cubes in here just kind of show you how it uh, fits, fills out, and of course, the uh, X-Pac Cap 2 in the bottom. Now, one little minor detail is neither of these bags, none of these bags stand up, the light speed or this one, just because the bottom is angled to more conform to your body versus, uh, you know, stand up. So it won't stand uh, even when it's packed out because it's just the angle of the bottom of it. So if that's a big deal, don't go with the EDC. Otherwise, on the bottom, again, the attachment points are awesome and in this case i have one of their um, control panels and in this case i can just add other things in the back so you can either put the control panel on the back or you can actually mount this one in the back on some webbing so i might do that but to be honest um, i just love the portability of this thing because you can take this whole thing out keep your laptop or biggest ipad in here and then just shove it in there like a winner on top of things and then move around and then get this out whatever you wanted to but this gives me some opportunities to put stuff on the back you could also like i said put the transporter tail in here if you wanted to but i don't plan to do that water bottle holders waxed canvas all throughout on the inside just like the other one and again hold everything in terms of if i were going to carry hydration and want it outside just put it on the inside definitely cool maybe put some of their control pods on the inside too i don't know we'll see about that that's the inside that's how i've tricked out mine how i'm going to use it um, as pretty much an edc kind of a bag for a while a little big but we're going to do that anyway just because i just love this bag um, it will definitely probably be my holiday travel companion um, as we move around to see family so that's the that's how I'm gonna use this one. Let's compare this to some other bags. I've already compared it to the light speed and show you those differences. Let's compare it to some of my favorite 
Go Ruck bags, the GR1. All right, so here we are. And again, you know, we'll put this thing aside for a second, but just size wise, you know, 26 liters over here and 28 liters on this side. So really side by side, I don't get a sense that this one feels two liters bigger. So really this compares directly with the 26 liter GR1. Not the GR2 because of the depth of that bag, but height wise, I think this one's pretty comparable. You can see here just the difference in um, the way they build the straps. They're a little bit wider and a little bit, just it's a different feel on these compared to the way that the Triple Out Design ones are more breathable. This fabric material versus the 1000D or in this case wax canvas on this 26 liter bag. So you can see just a general difference side by side of how they stack up. This one's of course slick, doesn't have the webbing on it, has a handle which I added, but you know, no side webbing, although the regular 26 liter bags do have webbing on them. No transporter tail or compression straps on this. Inside wise, again, this is a, these are both big compartment bags. So they're not um, like the GR2 multi-compartment, one big open internal compartment. And then this one of course has just the two internal pockets and then the elastic pocket on the back. This one has nothing on the back panel, but those side bottle pockets, which are not included on any of the GR ones that I've ever seen and no secret pocket. Oh, this one has a top pocket in the heritage. So, you know, you get what you get. This one's got two front pockets. This has got the one big slash pocket. So really, you know, and of course the tactical index on this one is a little bit higher just because of the webbing the straps now you can remove all these things mostly and you can stealth this thing up a little bit but to be honest it's uh, just the way it's the bag is designed and i think you'd be ruining the aesthetic if you did it. now compare wax canvas to wax canvas let's go apples to apples as much as we can so this is a 21 liter bag so again a little bit shorter and but wax canvas wise very awesome very Comparable feel between both these bags, not AquaGuard on either of them, so you don't get that. Uh, there's no difference there. Different zipper pulls, of course. You know, thickness of the wax canvas is is the same. I would say the the waxiness of it is very comparable. Maybe a little a touch more waxed on the the Go Rock bag, but again, not not really any big differences uh, on these two. So you can see side to side big no big differences you know if you really wanted one more work more subtle more classic this one's got leather accents in places on the bottom the side i've done reviews on the heritage bags before so nice little leather accents everywhere but you know this one doesn't have any leather unless you add a leather patch to it like i did here and so that's cool but you know you do you which one do you like better I don't know, leave me a comment down below. Which one do you prefer, wax canvas GR1 or a wax canvas on the EDC? So that's it, that's what I think of the Fast Pack EDC from Triplot Design. It is my new favorite. Yep, it's the one that I really do love the most, especially in this waxed canvas. I think we're gonna get a whole bunch of accessories from the foundry and we're gonna deck this thing out long term and uh, see how it does um, build wise compared to some of those Gorak bags. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. More backpack videos, that's all we got coming up. And you're gonna wanna see what's happening next. Enjoy the outside, even when it is winter, cold. See ya.